Good morning and welcome to the chart of the week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday, the 12th of September 2019, and the time has just gone 11:15 British summer time. And this week's chart of the week video is the Dow Jones. Uh, we can see here the Dow Jones has broadly been in an upward trend throughout 2019, and on quite a few occasions, the market hit uh, fresh all time highs. And even, even though we had some ups and downs, uh, largely driven by trade tensions between the US and China, uncertainty in Hong Kong, um, concerns about a possible recession in Germany, Brexit uncertainty, um, and, and, um, and various other you know, uh, concerns about the global economy, we have seen some, some, uh, some fairly sharp sell-offs from time to time. And most notably, most recently, was the one from, uh, from, late, from late July into early August. Well, as we can see here by the by the, uh, by the price action, the market has, has recovered nearly all uh, of the losses that were incurred. Taking a look here at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, as the market there's a steady increase in positive momentum, you can see it here it's rising, uh, which confirms the upward move uh, that's in the underlying that's in the market itself. So the move to the upside in the market is being confirmed by the steady increase in positive momentum. So for the time being, the momentum is clearly with the bulls and the buyers. If it does manage to press on higher from here, we're currently expecting the Dow Jones and the cash market to open around 27,200. If it does continue to press on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting the all-time high in around this area here, in around um, in around um, 27,400 there thereabouts, somewhere in that region. And if you press and if you go beyond that, we could then be looking up towards levels such as 20, 27,000. 500, 600, 700, and kind of in, in kind of um, on, uh, in new territory, as it were. Um, if we do see any pullbacks um, in the Dow Jones, we might find some support from this area here. There seem to be a bit of consolidation in around the 26,800 zone, uh, and possibly even down on the, from this blue line here, the 50 moving average, and that comes into play at 26,572. We can see it acted as kind of both um, support and resistance not too long ago on these occasions here. And if a metric has acted as both our support and or resistance uh, in the recent past, it makes it more likely it will do so in the near future. But obviously no, there are no guarantees. And even if you drop below the 50 moving average, support can be found from this yellow line here, the 100 moving average at 26,314. Similar reasons, we saw some, it did, it did act as both uh, resistance and support not too long ago, so it might be an important metric to keep your eye on in the near term. And, you know, I, I was talking about potential areas of support because if you take a look at the wider trend throughout the year, buying on the dip has been a fairly popular strategy overall, seeing as markets uh, continue to press on higher from here. Um, just one, one, one point to talk about the, uh, the upward move in the, in the Dow Jones is that Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other. So if you are trading the Dow Jones, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on with the S&P 500 and other major indices around the world. Similar, position, similar picture here in the S&P 500. After the major sell-off in July, uh, July and early August, the S&P 500 has recovered most of its most of its losses, and the S&P 500 is tipped to open north of 3,000. So you could be looking at retesting its all-time highs uh, in the near future. Uh, taking a look now at what's going on over in uh, in Germany on the DAX, and then also have a look at the um, at the at the Nikkei 225. Now the German market is in nowhere near as strong a position as its uh, as its U.S. counterparts, but nonetheless we can see it's been in a solid upward trend the last few weeks, and in in um in the past 24 hours it hit, it's hit levels last seen in um in late July. So even though it's nowhere near its all-time highs, it's still in a in a upward fairly fairly clear and, and um, bullish upward trend. I'll also take a quick look at what's going on on the uh, the Nikkei 225 over in Japan because Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other. So if you're going to be th if you're th taking the view that the Dow Jones is going to continue its upward trend, if you see other major indices also in an upward trend, the S&P 500 is fairly close to its all-time high. The, the DAX was was, uh, was very was essentially at a multi-week high, and we can see here the uh, the Nikkei 225 once again not not too far away from uh, from levels last seen in July. So the S so the, the Nikkei 225, the DAX are in are multi-week highs, whereas the whereas the S and P 500 is fairly close to its all-time high. And for this reason, you can then become more confident uh, that the kind of wider positive move in the Dow Jones is going to continue. 
Now uh, today's video has been recorded at about 11:15 uh, British Summer Time. Today at 12:45 British Summer Time, we have the European Central Bank interest rate decision. There's, there's a lot of speculation that the the the, the naked the interest rate the the negative uh, deposit rate could be cut even further. It's currently at negative 0.4%. It could be cut down to 0.5% or possibly 0.6%. At, at, at 13.30 British summer time, the European Central Bank will announce its, um, will, will give further details about its update at the press conference. That's going to be closely watched. And keep in mind, uh, we have had a slight improvement between the US and China trade situation. Overnight, President Trump stated that $250 billion worth of tariffs that were going to be slapped on Chinese imports as of the as of early October have not been deferred for two weeks. So they're not going to be they will come into place in mid-October. So it's only a small move, but nonetheless, uh, it is a step in the right direction for US-China trade relations. Uh, before I go, um, if you have any comment to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.